In Battle for Bikini Bottom, the cruise boost is a coveted technique. It allows Spongebob to complete the game faster by adding speed to his normal running speed and causing stationary moves such as the bash and stomp to be done while moving. Cruise boosting also allows for other tricks to be executed, such as lag clips and vertical sponge glides. But, a normal cruise boost is not the fastest a cruise boost can go. In certain circumstances, Spongebob can capture extra momentum during a cruise boost, leading to faster speeds. To understand this further, a cruise boost works because you capture the displacement between your first and second input. The reason a regular cruise boost is the speed it is, is because you capture your walking speed as you can only walk side to side during a regular cruise boost. Therefore, when you do a cruise boost where Spongebob moves more than just his normal walking speed in between the inputs, the final speed is marginally increased. There is two ways of achieving this, one being dependent on the physics of a level, and one being possible any place that you can throw a bowling ball and walk into a wall as it displaces Spongebob. These are what we call ledge cruise boosts and displacement cruise boosts. Any cruise boost that attains a speed over 5.5 can be considered one of the faster cruise boosts, whether it be an LCB or DCB. One of the fastest documented cruise boosts so far is on a ledge near the beginning of downtown, which can give up to an astonishing 60 speed if executed correctly. The first inclination that these faster cruise boosts existed came in 2017, when a ledge cruise boost was discovered accidentally at the top of the first slide in Jellyfish Fields. As well as that, one of the first displacement cruise boosts to be discovered came about due to a separate trick. Years ago, the sole method of clipping into the goo cage in the Flying Dutchman's graveyard involved an L-bowl, where you pressed the inputs for a cruise boost just as a bowling ball landed on Spongebob. A side effect of going for this trick was that when Spongebob was displaced but did not clip, and his cruise boost input went through, he would gain marginal amounts of speed and do an accidental DCB. By late 2019, an array of LCBs and DCBs would start to be discovered, multiple of which save time in main category speedruns of Battle for Bikini Bottom, mainly 100%. Such as the DCB and LCB found for Flounder Hill, the LCB on Sand Mountain Slide 3, the DCB in the beginning of Sandy's Dream commonly referred to as Swingerless, the LCB in Jellyfish Caves, and the LCB in Goo Lagoon Beach. Minor time-saving LCBs were also found for 100% in individual level runs, such as one that saves around 3 seconds on Jellyfish Rock Socks and around 10 seconds in the Kelp Woods. Since then, over 120 LCB spots have been discovered, and DCB spots are continuously discovered as well. Here's a quick montage of every known LCB documented on Xbox.
These fast cruise boosts are not only interesting to discover and see, but the time save that some of them yield makes them irreplaceable in a current day speedrun of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Hopefully in the future we can expand on this list as well as find more DCBs, but for now, these are the faster cruise boosts in Battle for Bikini Bottom. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Also, I'll be running Battle for Bikini Bottom NG Plus as a showcase run in the Rehydrated Relief, a charity event put together by Rider ZX and other members of the BFBB community. I'll be playing NG Plus on June 12th at 4pm Eastern, then the next day I'll be playing NG Plus as a part of the BFBB Triathlon, a 3 team, 9 player race where each team completes all main categories as fast as they can. That will take place on June 13th at 9.40pm Eastern. The Rehydrated Relief will be hosted on the BFBB Community Twitch channel.